Today we welcome the table toppers Sheffield United to the Bet365 Stadium of what is going to be the third challenging game of the week. We've just come off the back of the draw against Burnley in midweek. A good point, I think, as the game was going on, I think it was going to be less likely that we'd get something, but then Harry Clark popped up at the back stick and put us level. And, yeah, in trademark, Harry Clark fashion paid homage to uh, Cristiano Ronaldo, but, uh, yeah, great celebration. Hopefully it can give us some positive momentum going into today. Sheffield United have come off the back of the lo a loss in midweek. We sit 20th on the other hand. I don't know whether it's time to look over our shoulders, but, yeah, I think if results go against us today, we will be in that bottom three. But I think we should look forward um, and try not to look over our shoulders too much. But uh, yeah, without further ado, let's get into the ground. Come on, Stoke. Team uses in just the one change from midweek. Liam Delap drops to the bench in place of Josh Lawrence, who goes back into midfield. It could be a back three today with uh, Fox, um, Wilmot and Jagielka, but it also could be a back four with Sterling slot slotting in at right back and Fosu playing a little bit higher Oh. Sheffield United have made a couple of changes from their defeat midweek. I think it'll be one all today. Um, goal scorers, I'm going to go Tyrese Campbell for us. And for Sheffield United, I think it'll be Ryan Brewster. Hopefully we can snatch some points today, but uh, I wouldn't be surprised if it go went anyway, to be honest, because it'd be the most Stoke thing ever. But uh, yeah, let's get into the game. Come on, Stoke. But 
is put in and we lead just before the interval. Come on! So half time we lead 2 1 at the break. An, er an early goal from Ben Wilmot was the one that put us ahead. A really nice move. We didn't actually pass it back from the corner, which has been one of my biggest problems with this team is when the ball falls to someone on the halfway line they knock it all the way back to the keeper we instead today we've actually not knocked it back at all we've put it straight back in and we got the goal Wilmot was there to finish it up at the back stick in true Wilmot fashion as we as he has done a couple of times this season Rian Brewster got the equaliser so there's a suspicions it was out and suspicions he was offside so yeah the ball was out on the on the goal line I think it was and he slots it in at the back stick, but we, we'll gloss over that one because we now lead, thanks to Phil Jagielka. Muti celebrations, of course, against Sheffield United. Bit of a messy mixer, but he managed to put the ball in the back of the net, and that sees us lead. It's been a lot better today, though. I've really liked the intensity. We've attacked really well. We've limited their chances a lot, too. I'm really impressed with Foster moving higher up the pitch. It is a back four today with Fox at left back. He's got himself into some advanced positions as well as so as. Uh, Sterling, Campbell's had a couple of pops, we've had a couple of good chances actually, um, probably could be ahead a little bit more, but no, definitely still enough time to put some away, but anyway, let's get into the second half, come on Stoke. Tries to pull, pull the ball in to the corner and run it in. 
that barged over the advertising audience, there was a bit of a salmon roll on the uh, running track just off pitch. All squares up though, Harry Clark involved. Looks like everyone got away with it though. So coming out the ground after, for me, performance of the season. Everyone was faultless today and I think the biggest talking point, well we'll get into it, is Liam Delap's first goal in red and white. From how it looked to me, it looked like he was quite emotional, so yeah, I'm, I'm absolutely buzzing for him. It was a really nice move when the game was getting really, really scrappy. Campbell squared the ball, he was played in, unselfishly squares the ball to Delap, who slots it away and yeah, I think... It's exactly what he needed, I think it's exactly what we needed. Yeah, performance of the season, really faultless. I think the back switch to the back four has worked, um, and I'd like to see that deep down next next week. Um, I, I just feel a lot more confident in the back four. Uh, I thought Ben Wilmot was superb, Phil Jagielka too. Uh, I thought Dujon Sterling, everyone was really, really good. Um, but yeah, brilliant, brilliant win against top of the league. We jump up to 16th now, I believe, so... Yeah, we're slowly climbing that table. Hopefully we can climb it a little bit more before the World Cup break. But uh, yeah, hope you guys have enjoyed today's vlog. And I'll see you in the next one. Come on, Stoke.